Okay, everybody, we are back, and I just got done curling her hair, and like we were just discussing, it would take so much longer if her hair was not cut. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> it looks like a bird. It's so pretty. Wow, beautiful. She's got a sexy neck. Okay, but yeah, if, um, if she had all this hair, it would take much longer, and if I was worried about the curls being all the way at the top, which I'm not, but I think she looks beautiful. And she was just showing me some pictures of all the different hair colors she's had. I really like them all. I am going to steal her lilac. I'm going to try and get me a, a lilac wig. So basically what I'm going to do here, and I'm not going to record the entire time. But basically what I'm going to do here is just follow the pattern of the curls. I just needed the very ends to be curled to do this. And once I curl everything and put it... Um, put them all up. There's going to be some fine touch, uh, retouching and then maybe a couple of scarves, a flower, something like that. We're going to definitely switch it up. And I have some red and kind of maroon um, body tones here. So I think that that's going to look good. I don't really think they're going to stand out, but you know, personally, I've always liked pin curls. I like seeing the actual pin curls. I guess it just comes down to personal taste because some people do not want to see them and for me sometimes I forget that when I have blondes over here that I have to have the blonde body pen for their hair so I suggest buying the blonde ones if you have long hair because everything else just seems to kind of blend a little bit better except for when you have the jet black body pens and the platinum blonde hair. So I'm just going to continue to do this all over towards the front of her hair and then like I said I will come back and we'll add some scarves and she's going to do a photo shoot and take some pictures and take some pictures but we want to get all of these curls towards the front and pin them down. And I'll do the same thing on this side as well. So it really doesn't matter um, to me what pattern I'm doing or what pattern you choose to do. I didn't really do them. I just did every other one the opposite way, and or every one the opposite way of the other one. I guess that's how you say that. <laughs> Be nice if I had a script. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tell me what to say. Poke me. Where's my cards at? So that's kind of weird. So again, well, I'm gonna put all of these up towards the front and then I'm going to do some fine tuning and basically I'll show you really quickly um, how I'm going to do the ones in the back. So it's going to be the same thing. I'm just going to pull them forward and I don't have to worry about brushing her hair um, in the back. So it's going to be really, really simple and I know that I could brush these out but I want to keep her natural wave there and have it kind of just be a nice um, relaxed, messy, kind of, you know, uh, classy updo, but not too sharp and not too refined. So we will be back and I will finish the rest of her hair and show you guys what we have. 